early period of development between zero and three, and especially in the first year of life, uh, includes what we call sensitive periods. These are times when the brain is developing at an incredibly rapid pace and has the potential to be wired in a variety of different ways depending on what's useful in the environment. Toward the end of that period, that, that, that sensitive, um, responsive, malleable nature of the brain begins to close. Let's take language, for example. Between six and 12 months, when that infant is hearing the sounds that will be used in the language that is the language that they'll be speaking, and it could be more than one language, their brain is being wired to recognize those sounds and to produce them, even before they do it. Like everything important at this point in development, it's mediated, it's gated by the social interaction between the caregiver and the infant. There is a wonderful study done a number of years ago that took uh, uh, infants being raised in American homes and exposed them to a native Mandarin speaker over the course of about a dozen sessions lasting about 30 minutes. And at the end of those sessions, those American infants that had no other exposure to Mandarin were as good at recognizing the distinctive sounds of that language as were babies being raised in Hong Kong at that time. And so people thought, well, would it work if they saw this on a screen, if they saw it on video? So they had the same person read the same stories and sing the same songs in Mandarin. And what's remarkable is the babies watch the screen. They are, um, they are intrigued by it. But at the end of the period, they had not developed any ability to recognize those sounds. So the power of what happened was completely dependent on the live interaction between the speaker and the infants.